We do not know much about the life of the 17th century Turkish travel writer of Lija Celebi, but thanks to him, we know a lot about Croatian lands and the people of his time. He was born as he himself wrote in the Book of Travels, in Constantinople on March 25, 1611. His real name was of Lija Ibn Dervish Memzili, of Lija Celebi. Celebija was then a Turkish honorary title, meaning gentleman. As the son of a court jeweler, he acquired a good education. He was musical with a beautiful voice. As a hafiz, he knew the entire Quran by heart. He took part in a ceremony in Asafia, where his voice was noticed by the new Sultan Mem IV, and invited him to the court. He was taught by the best Turkish scholars, but his stay at court he did not capitalize. Ali was too free-spirited and unreas spirit. He traveled as a junior official, or privately the great Ottoman Empire, and most of the European countries. In 40 years of traveling, he gained enviable knowledge about others. In peace and quiet, he wrote down his impressions and information in the Book of Travel, which has ten parts. The view of Croatian region and the people of the 17th century from the Turkish side is extremely valuable to Croats. Because it is an ancient building, it is repaired every year and whitened so that it is like a swan. The city is beautiful and the ammunition depots are full. Its climate is mild and the women are famous for their beauty. I watch them sitting in many shops and sell goods, there were really beautiful ones. Their eyes are like gazelles. Their faces are bright, and their words are sweet. They are beautiful as pictures. They confirm the accuracy of the verse, it is a special image that confuses the mind of the observer. Of Lija wrote about Split. The people of Durovnik were well known in Constantinople, and he had the opportunity to be their guest. Durovnik is very old, and his inhabitants are a great people of the Christian faith. They have translated the Gospel into Latin. They have many capable and educated astronomers, surgeons, agronomists and perfect historians. These are people who strive to live in peace and good relations with everyone. They treat everyone servilely and humble. They have treated me as a poor man very politely. These are very wise and capable people. Nowhere is it written that an enemy foot has stepped into it since its inception. There are narrow streets and good houses in the interior of the city, and there is no desolate land at all. In the mission to Nicholas VII Srinsky in Akavek Alebi describes his host as smart and prudent, when the city appeared to us, the whole population came out in crowds like wild pigs, supposedly to meet us, and in fact to show us the multitude of the army, and the beauty of the city. Forgotten and worn out, he shared his impressions. He described ventures from which it can be seen, that he was a fun chronicler, a witty interlocutor, skilled in dealing with others, of good observation. For the population of Montenegro and Piva, Elibija writes that they are a real Croatian enemy who lives in inaccessible mountains. He has written about Herzegovina that the majority of the population consists of Arnaut, Bosnian, and Croatian heroes. On the way from Belgrade to Herzegovina, Celibija writes that in Gel near Foa on the Drina, the local Ghazi gave him as an escort 50 armed Croatian guys. In northern Herzegovina, Elibij notes that to the military detachment were assigned 300 reliable and valuable Croatian Gazis. For Sarajevo, Elibij mentions the language of the Bosnian and Croatian people there. The oldest news about the Croatian hat is brought by Alebi in the description of the costume from the Turkish part of northern Dalmatia, saying that there the local Kraina people, Muslims, put on the head of the Croatian cap, made of red coho. Elibija wrote about Croatian Christians outside the Ottoman Empire as evil Croatians, and he mentions Christian Croats and Croat Muslims in the Ottoman Empire in a positive context, especially positively about Croatian soldiers. Celebi's description of Croats was studied as part of the project of Lija Celebi and Croats, an Ottoman traveler in Croatian areas in a modern way, and on the basis of Celebi's autograph. The project was led by Nenad Moen in, and funded by the Croatian Science Foundation. Unfortunately, Although it had very interesting data for Croatian history, this website no longer works. It can only be accessed in part on the basis of alternative online archives. You can find more videos about Croatian history on English on this playlist on my channel.